Why are you still believe you're the best guy for the job? Um, because we're here. We're seven to five. This, you know, this just happened by luck. I mean, it was hard earned, and and um, we've worked to get where we're at. And like I said, we're still in it. You know, um, with with the, those other teams losing yesterday, we get to play. Um, you know, we have four more games. Two of them are division games, and. Um, you know, you don't get to seven on five in the NFL just by lucking into it. Um, it's been a lot of hard work, and you know, I think I've proven that I've gotten us to this point. I feel like I can carry us to the next four games, and and um, you know, there's there's no doubt in my mind that you know I'll be ready to go. You've had one of the mo one of the more impressive touchdown to interception ratios <laughs> early in the season, but then the last four or five weeks, that script has been flipped. Yeah. Uh, what's been the difference there? Um, you know what? It's just. Um, you got to get on the same page on certain things, and and for me, you know, making smarter decisions. Um, you know, it's 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 a bunch of different things. There's there's a few that are, you know, tip balls. I mean, there's nothing worse as a quarterback when you throw a ball and it gets tipped up in the air, and you just hold your breath and hope that it hits the ground. And sometimes the other team catches it. So, um, you know, some of it's luck, and some of it is, um, you know, just being smart with with the football. And like I said, I've, I've proven that I can do that. I mean, I think at one point. I don't know how long the streak was, but how many pass, how many passes down interception. So, you know what? We just got to get back to to being ourselves, and for me, just worry about what I can control. You know, don't try to do other people's jobs for them. Do my job and and go from there. Have they you given you any it? indication of when they'll tell you? And have you approached like Dow or Kyle today? To say no, we going? talked. Um, I mean, it's you know, it's it's up to Coach Petten. So, um, you know, I'm sure I'll know when I know. Did you throw the first interception yesterday expecting Josh to cut in front of the safety? Yeah, it's something that we worked on, and and I think. You know, even Josh came up to me and said, "You know, I, I, that's my fault," and I'm sure he'd say the same thing to you guys. But um, you know, it's just one of those things where, in the, in the heat of the battle, everything's got to be perfect. You can't have one misstep, and and when you're expecting one thing and, and you react and and do it, it's just, you know, we got to get on the same page. And and you know, for a guy who hasn't been able to be a part of you know our meetings and stuff like that for 11 weeks, I think that's that's where it shows. Are you, are you looking at him maybe a little? Too much, do you think, Brian? As good as he is? No, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, even in yesterday's game, I don't remember forcing one ball to Josh. I mean, um, I can't recall one, to be honest with you. Um, so, no, I don't think so. Have you established yourself, uh, you know, to yourself, to this team, to the whole NFL as a starting quarterback? And I'm assuming that you do not want to accept anything less than that here or else. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, um, you know, we're, like I said, we're seven and five here. We won three games last year when I started. So, I mean, ten and five as a starting quarterback, that's not bad. And, and I think, you know, Coach Petten always says it. There's always a, always a lot of overreaction. You know, regardless if you win or lose, and obviously a little bit more this time because of the circumstances. But, um, you know, this doesn't waver my confidence in myself, you know, one bit. Why do you think the red zone has been 